Hello and welcome to FTL. Um, this is a game that I've played before a bit. I've only ever beaten it once on easy difficulty. So today I'm, I've decided to challenge myself by, by going at it on normal difficulty. Um, I'm assuming a, a couple of you guys watching will have played this before or have seen other people play it. So I, I want to like set your expectations right now. I am not terribly good at this game uh, for some reason or another. You know, I tend to be quite lucky in a lot of things. FTL is not one of them. That said, we're going to start by taking the red tail. Ooh, I can rename this. But I will actually rename this. Uh, what will I What will I rename this? I think... The Clausius Rex. That's a cool name for a ship. Yeah. As for our crew... Yes, enter that there. As for our crew, what will we be naming you guys? Oh, we can customize them as well. Uh, you know what? Our captain is going to be Captain Sam, last name Aaron. This guy, what, what, what will his deal be? He will be Brian from Corporate. This guy here, Wai Xing, interesting name for a, a Zoltan. Actually, maybe it's not. Maybe that is their name in convention. Oh, I can pick the shade of green. Delightful. Well, you will be a nice, vibrant green, so. Uh, and your name will be... Oh, jeez. Rename here. You are a Zoltan. What's a good name for a Zoltan? Hmm... I'm going to call you Octane, just because. Sounds fun. Except, and then the last guy we have here is a Mantis. And I, I can customize you as well. I can pick the shade of Mantis. Okay, I want a, I want a nice... Uh, I like a gray Mantis. And we're going to rename you just like... We're going to name you Rocky. Because I've been playing a bit of uh, Outward at the moment. And Rock Mantises are a cool thing in that game. So, we've got Sam Aaron, Brian from Corporate... Octane the Zoltan, and Rocky the Mantis. Now, we, do, we are playing with the advanced uh, content, as you can see there, so that is the... Oh, what are they called again? The guys who don't need to breathe, I'm pretty sure. Um, as well as a couple other events thrown in there. So, today, well, let's just, just start up the game, and hopefully this will not see us die very, very quickly. We might, hopefully we'll make it to the boss. That's the, that's the plan. If I make it to the boss, I consider this run a success. The data you carry is vital to the remaining Federation fleet. You'll need supplies for the journey, so make sure to explore each sector before moving on to the next. But get to the exit before the pursuing rebel fleet can catch up. Okie dokie. So that's, that's all the story we need. No robot parts, five missiles, not going to need those. Let's quickly power up these guys here. Oh, I need to relearn all the keybinds as well. You guys are F1, F2, F3, F4. Save crew positions as backslash, and return crew is enter. Okay, cool. Anything additional here? Can I, like, remove power from this at all? No. Close all doors and open all doors. This can't go wrong. Okay, and it's double tap to... Yep, yep, yep. Stop dying. Well, as long as oxygen's working, that won't be too much of a problem. But, not enough power. Ah, for the weapons, right, because we have the energy boy here. Actually, maybe I should put him... Maybe I should put him in shields instead. Um, Just in case. Oh, actually, I don't know. I feel like... See, because like, there's a, there's a, there are things about this game that I know in the very back of my brain, and I feel like putting the Zoltan on shields is a better idea. Um, okay. Okay. Will I make the Mantis? I think I'll make the Mantis the pilot as well. Just because I have a funny feeling that... They'll... Yeah, they won't pro They probably won't target... They probably won't target the, the cockpit as much as they will the back of the ship. And so having guys who are actually competent in, in terms of repair seems a good idea. Okay, open the ship info. Ah, uh, the Clausius Rex. What a, what a name. You know, I'm proud of that. I just came up with that on the fly. I love getting a full crew. That is also kind of like a side objective. 
Uh, I just I love having loads of bodies on board. Now, going to need to accrue a bit more scrap. We've got 10 at the moment, and there's not much you can do with 10 scrap. So you know what? That's fine. Okay, we're just going to get started. A distress signal right off the bat. You know, I'm going to jump to it. Hopefully, do we get an event here? Your arrival is greeted by numerous computer alerts. The nearby automated rebel scout has used a local satellite to deploy a virus to disrupt your shield system. Hopefully it won't cause further problems before you can destroy it. Alright, okay. So it's sent out... Is that a hacking drone? Okay, lovely. Oh, please do not hack my, my weapons. So my weapons are charging. I'm going to beef up my... my evasion just a touch. Where is this drone coming? Okay. So I'm just waiting on these guys at the moment to charge up so I can start taking out their equipment in volleys. I'm thinking... What is easier to take out? The engines or the cockpit? I feel like it's going to be the cockpit. Because once that's down... Yeah. Actually, no, we'll, no, we'll focus on shields first. If it tries to make a break for it, then the shields should hopefully be down. Okay. Cool. And we don't have auto fire on at the moment because I, I don't I don't typically use that. Oh shit. Uh that's less than ideal. They're just messing with the O2. Okay, it's it's alright for the time being. Uh this is an ion pulse coming in. So I am just pausing to have it. My god, they are just ruining our O2. Alright, apparently we don't have systems anyway, so we might as well just get in here. Okay. That is their, their shields down, Grant. Uh, our next port of call will be to take out the weapons. If you can do that in any kind of timely fashion. There we go. Love to see that. And then we'll just, yeah, we'll hit the cockpit so they can't escape. Three, please. Yes, lovely. Uh, let's get our control of our oxygen back as well. That'll be delightful. Okay, the ship is gone. The ship is gone. Oxygen's coming back online. That's great. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. Oh, that reminds me. You can, like, board ships and that'll, like, save you material. Okay. Hopefully this guy will have the oxygen repaired before we all start, like, suffocating. Okay, cool. Great. Cool. I don't know why. I had a sudden, like, urge to say schluffocating. Like, um... Oh, what was his name? Evo in that Futurama film. Oh, without any further delay, well, let's just get on to this distress I could, I could wax about Futurama at length. You find the source of the distress call a small research station. It appears a small laboratory fire got out of control and is threatening to destroy the station. Your fire suppression system is not responding. Um, I think there's also like dice rolls behind these as well. I'm going to try and rescue a survivor. Nope. You locate the highest concentration of life forms and bring the ship alongside the station. Before you can begin to offload the survivors. A huge blast splits the station apart. Your ship is thrown away and some debris pierces your hull. You watch as helplessly as the last of the survivors are consumed in the collapse of the station. Well, I got 10 scrap out of it, so, it, you know... Uh-oh. Wait, seriously? It just hit the oxygen room again? Okay, you need to get on this as well, because we are, like, a lot lower on oxygen than I'd like to be. Maybe I should have uh, allowed my oxygen to replenish before we, before we took off. Okay, cool. We're good. We're good. Shields are back up. Actually, I can pop you back in here, and then that'll that'll take care of that. I need to power the oxygen room. Yes. Oh, all is good with the world. How are you, oxygen? 37%. Okay, I am going to wait for that to, to fill back up then before we leave. Okay, I was going to see if I could have a look in here. Uh, but apparently, no. I've got, I've got to just sit here and wait. That's fine. Open all doors in the ship. Z. Hopefully, hopefully that'll get uh, the oxygen redistributed a little bit better, a little bit faster. 59. Uh, okay. You know, I'm going to save these as the, the de facto crew positions as well, if I haven't already. Because it is of the utmost importance to make sure that after a big scuffle, people can get back to where they need to be. I don't know why, but I feel like oxygen taking so many hits is a bit of an omen. Um, I'm probably going to get someone on oxygen as soon as, you know, when I when I get two when I get two people, if I get an NG actually, I might put him in here so he can just quickly take care of oxygen when the need arises. Okay, 
This is good. Uh, I am going to try and spend a bit more time just playing in front of the, of the rebels, because in these earlier sections, pay their toll, reject their offer. Yeah, these guys are getting wrecked. Uh, they do have robots, which is good, but they don't have teleporters, which is almost better. Okay, they've got combat bots, but that's not really an issue for me. Um, okay, so shields down. Ooh, and they have, yeah, and they have uh, a missile launcher of some description as well, so I really shouldn't care too much about, actually, hang on, if it's, is it one or two to break their shields? You know what, I'll pop two on this, just to be sure. So you know what, sorry, I'll pop three on, on the shields and just test the waters with the, with the weapons. <laughs> Okay, so, interesting. So we've, like, hit the shields. Oh, and now if, if they've lost an energy bar, they're going to just... Okay, that's fine, that's fine. So they've lost an energy bar now, the shields have gone down, and we've taken out their weapons as well. So, ow. After this, after Brian from corporate or finance, I can't remember what the, the starting joke was, uh, manages to take care of that, we should be good. Yeah, and they got a combat drone, like, hectoring us at the moment, but that's fine. They're getting their shields back online. I have lasers ready to go and I wasn't using them. Oof. And I'm actually going to target... Ooh, will I target their O2? No, I don't have good enough visuals. I will target their cockpit. Yeah, okay, so at least they're not going anywhere. So this next volley will finish them off then. Yeah. There we go. And they're taken care of. Good night. That's actually quite good. Um, that's a nice nice bit of fuel. You need to go to medical, however. I'm going to close all these doors just for, for safety. Actually, you know what? I should probably upgrade my doors. Yeah. Except. Uh, just in the event of intruders, I, I want to be able to uh, control their access a little bit more without having someone man the doors, essentially. Right, and a quick enter gets you returning to your station. Plenty of oxygen, plenty of health. We are doing just fine, actually. Store, but I can't really purchase anything. You know, we will we will get a bit of a yeah. Planning on going through the nebula because it will just... Uh-oh. Pirate ship waiting. All right, well, tell you what. We'll take out your shields, and then we'll let literally everything else do the work. Yeah. Okay, once these weapons are up and running, we should be good. Laser. Here we go. That's the volley we wanted. Now, here's the question. Do I focus on... So yeah, because they've got an ion cannon, so they could do a lot of damage to my shields. You know what? I'm not going to risk it. I've, I've got no need to risk it. And I don't really have the... What would I call it? I don't really have the equipment to try and to asphyxiate these guys. That's the word. Here comes the volley. Yep, trying to escape. Fair enough. Good luck with that. Alright, and we get some more missiles, which are fine. We'll probably just be trading those real realistically. Um, because the thing about this this starting setup of four basic lasers... Uh oh This starting setup of four basic lasers is... They're really good because they fire so... Synchronously. It's other, other weapons, and adding them into the mix can, like, throw off your... They're off your balance, essentially, uh, of how you have your ship or organized. We are quickly going to hop into this nebula here. We'll make fleet pursuit slower. That's fine. The sensors weren't that good anyway. I don't need to see. There's nothing here. Okay. I was hoping for a bit of an event, but beggars can't be choosers. I'm also just going to have a quick scan of these hyperlanes here. Yeah... Yeah, I can, I can, I can play around here. Oh, uh, we're gonna attack the pirate, and it's actually a no. This is a pirate fighter. Okay, cool. Just from the the looks of it, I thought it was actually a rebel ship, and I was like, uh oh, these tend to be equipped quite well. Um, right. Yeah. Okay. You know, what? weapons and shields. It's a clap. It's a tried and tested combination. I'm just going to make sure the sh these shields go down, though. 
Oh my goodness, that was a lot of misses. Why is it always the oxygen? Uh, you know what, Brian? From corporate, you can take care of the oxygen. Here we go. Here comes the next volley now. We've taken down... Oh great, we've taken down their one weapon that can't get through the shields. Delightful. Uh, right, we'll finish off their weapons with this volley, and then we'll take out their shields. Oh, please miss, please miss. Thank goodness. Yeah, missiles are like... They're dodgy at the best of times. We're gonna take out the cockpit as well. Actually, how many how many shots will the cockpit take? Not too many, hopefully. And we'll get those. We'll keep those weapons offline as well. Yeah, because they've just brought them back on. And their shields as well. No way. Okay, but their cockpit is weakened. I'm actually kind of impressed by the fact these guys have gotten that their shit together so quickly. Yep, they're trying to escape, but their FTL is delayed because I've taken out their cockpit. So one more good shot. I'm just going to put it all on the shields now. And that's their ship taken out. Alright, more scrap. You know what, this this is still Sector 1, so we shouldn't be getting too ahead of ourselves, but I'm... I'm feeling alright about this. Oh, Jesus. You find two heavily damaged ships living nearby, the remains of a battle. You begin to harvest some of their usable debris when you hear the sounds of someone beaming aboard, followed by the shouts of a boarding party. All right, well, this is what deoxygenation is for. You guys don't need to breathe. This is something I'm completely okay with admitting. I really hope they're somewhere in here. You know, I'm going to lock them out of here because there's no need to, like, deoxygenate the camera room. But yeah, the, oh, they're, they're in medical. Okay, because they're actually hitting medical so far. So that's good, that's good. Actually, will I move you? Where should I move you? Yeah, no, it'll just, it'll just be this is the fastest and safest way to play this. Okay. Oh my god, that is quite the boarding party. Alright. Uh, please, escape over this way. Because we are now going to evacuate this room as well. Right. Okay, cool. These guys are very intent on surviving, and I am very intent on not, on not letting them. Yep, we're just going to keep deoxygenating the entire ship until they just stop. Oh my god, they're in the oxygen room. Interesting development. I'm going to close this door. Oh god, this room is deoxygenated. Um, sensical. Hopefully it'll get a little bit ox oxygenated. Uh, no, this guy is about to drop. Fucking dead. Please make it to the cockpit. Okay, you lived, and you can go into the camera room. Uh, okay. It appears they've stopped struggling, which means it's okay to close the doors and have oxygen return. Oh my goodness, that was close. We almost lost Octane there. I really hope they actually are dead, and they've not just been like, hey, if we stop smacking their doors, maybe they'll think we're dead. I, I, I don't think the game is that clever. I hope it's not. You know, I'm actually going to open all these internal doors as well, just to oxygenate them a little bit faster. Because I have some lads that are in dire need of some, uh... Wait, what? Why is oxygen not working? There's no power. Oh god. Please power the oxygen. Oxygen's going up now, yes? Yes? Okay, thank you, Jesus. Oh my god, if I hadn't noticed that, we could have just straight up lost octane. That would have been very bad. You know, you get way more attached to them when you name them. Uh, yeah. Especially Brian from the corporate. He's really starting to grow on me. It's something about his no nonsense personality. Uh, what a tyke. Alright, we're gonna get the med bay, get the med bay up and running as well. There should be oxygen there as well there now. Who else is. Sam is not doing too chipper either. But that's fine, because we're all gonna have plenty of oxygen. That'll be great. Lovely. Oh, we're all breathing. We're all alive. There's a bunch of corpses we're gonna need to sweep out of the O2, but that's fine. You know, rations are hard to come by on flights like this. Okay, we're almost... Oh, for a second I was terrified I thought these doors were open. Um, we're almost back to full oxygen. We will need to power these engines, which might put us at a touch of a disadvantage. We need to fight immediately, but hopefully once we're out of this, this plasma storm, 
we'll get all our power back. It'll be grand. Okay. You know what? I'm just gonna put it in shields now, so I like definitely don't forget. Don't have just one weapon charging up. Right. Okay. This was that was risky business. Yeah, I'll I'll go down. I'll go down. It, it, it means I'll have more control over. It means I'll have a bit more control over over the approach of the rebel fleet and kind of how I should pace myself for it. Because I might I might like underestimate how far it's going to go whilst I'm up there. Uh, Freighter for transport does not want to seem to engage you. Demand the surrender of their goods. They're trying to escape. Oh shit, that's... Okay. Charge your weapons. Oh my goodness, we actually have dudes as well. Alright, well. You can stop doing that now. Oh goodness, what's this? You know, you just you just go in there. We'll let the mantis take care of the of the hand to hand combat. We're going to take down. These are lasers, right? Uh oh. We're going to take down this uh this cockpit as fast as possible. Oh, and they've hit the engine quite hard as well. But it's okay because we've delayed their FTL. So concessions have been made, but also gains. Um. I'd, l I'd honestly, I'd love to hit their row two. That would be ideal. If I could choose something about these guys to like end, it would be that. Uh, engine's critical. Intruders detected. Okay, that was the bad guy dying. Oh, jeez. That's fine. They've hit our weapon systems as well, but that's okay because we've hit their oxygen. They are now sending people to take care of their oxygen, and. We've taken out one of their their people, so I'm gonna get Rocky back to the cockpit. We're gonna get these engines repaired ASAP. And Sam should hopefully be able to take care of the weapon systems. Uh, if we can just keep their O2 down, we might even be able to. Oh boy, we might even be able to starve them out essentially, which would be ideal. Asphyxiate them essentially. Back to stations. We're almost done here, guys. Lovely, lovely. I want to see those misses. Yep, we're keeping their oxygen down, which is good. Ah, their FTL is charging now. But we can start getting one basic laser back up here. Yeah, let's keep focusing on the cockpit, honestly. That's... Oh, jeez. There we go. Okay, so one shot to the cockpit will take care of them. We need to, like, wait for this laser to sync up better. Ah, no, they've already got their oxygen repaired. They can take like two more hits. Oh, I'm taking a lot of hits as well, though. This is not ideal. I would rather these guys just like, completely starve at this point. You know what? No. We're gonna get off one more hit there, but yeah. Oh, okay. Hang on. Maybe, maybe starving is still an option. They're getting so many hits in. No. Okay, these guys are just. They're too equipped, essentially. There we go. Ah, uh, I took a lot more damage than maybe I should have. I should have probably just gone for the weapons. The ship's cargo was not salvaged. Damn it, that's what I wanted. However, they seem to have been surveying the region. They possess detailed maps and data. You download what you can to the ship's map. Okay, that was actually quite suboptimal, if I'm being totally honest with you guys. I don't want to dress it up too much. That was a bit of a boo-boo. Ah, damn it. I really, really wanted to capture that ship, but again, without advanced sensors, I really can't see where these guys are concentrated. But hopefully, we will pick up the, the kind of weapons we need to deal with organics. Hang on, you, okay, everyone back except for you. Octane needs to heal up. Hopefully, we will kind of acquire some weapons that help us deal with ships that have a lot of oxygen in them. Because taking ships without destroying them just gives you more resources. So you're highly incentivized towards non-lethal, I say non-lethal takedowns, like non-destructive takedowns. In any event, ooh, there's a distress beacon here. I mean, I was going to go this way anyway. I don't really have much of a choice. 
Oh, but our weapons expert's a touch better now. Uh, our FTL. Okay, once you arrive at the location, I'll just the stress of call of the civilian ship hails you. Thank you for responding to our beacon. Our FTL navigation has gone haywire, and we can't plot a course to the nearest depot to get it fixed. Can you lead us there? I will... Oh, add a quest marker to the next sector. Lovely. Okay, cool. You know what? That's that's something. A pulsar is flooding this area with dangerous electromagnetic pulses. Do I feel like getting pulsar today? The answer is maybe. We'll find out next turn. This turn I'm hoping to see something happen here at all. Ooh, repairing damage. What's my hull at now, actually? Oh, jeez, I don't know. I'll take repair 20. 19 points repaired. Mm, I was one off. Okay, that's fine. It's a little bit of scrap loss, but it's grand. It's better that we are in a position to live than not. Uh, this also has given me a bit of encouragement to go to the pulsar. Not my best decision. That's fine. <gasps> These guys use shields. They're, rather, they're very dependent on shields, so... This means we will have almost an environmental opportunity. A small research station orbits a nearby pulsar. It appears largely abandoned, but you detect power signatures flying up as soon as you're in scanning distance. A small combat ship launches from the station. Pirates. Lovely. Oh, great. Pirates. What does this do again? You know what? Okay, we'll start clicking on your shields, because why not? Um, we'll disrupt, disrupt our systems. Oh! Oh, never mind. It's not just shield exclusive. That's fine. Um, you know what? We'll why is you? Why are you here? No, we need that. Now that we have this bit of power here, we're gonna put that in evasion. Hopefully, we can dodge some of these shots. That is the plan. Not a very chunky ship in terms of its hull strength, but the shields are quite big. Uh oh. Ooh, this burst laser coming in now. This couldn't have been worse timed. Actually, this is this is really bad. We're gonna take three knocks right away. And it's all on fire. I don't want to have to spell it out as to why this is a bad thing. But it is very much a bad thing. It's okay though, so hopefully it won't spread too much. Be able to take out these good systems. Oh, lovely. oh great, now our weapons are compromised as well. I need to hit this weapon system, like right now. Close these doors. Uh, engines are not as important as weapons. Ah, uh, budge. They've taken out our oxygen. I cannot tell you how bad that is. Rather, I cannot express how bad that is. It's quite bad, actually. No, I, I could express it fairly succinctly. I was wrong. Turns out, there's a very easy way to express how bad that was. Okay, we're only two off. We'll take care of these guys, and then we're gonna get our oxygen back online. Oh, Jesus. Okay, we can still act. Okay, look, that ship is gone, that's fine. Honestly, the pulsar is our main issue at the moment. Um. Cool. That's not as much as I would have wanted. I need you guys to repair the oxygen. So I need to. Oh my god, close all these doors. I can't because they're paralyzed. Okay, I'll catch you guys. Can you guys not move out of the room? Go here, please. As soon as the doors are back online. Oh, great. You know what, it's fine. If it hits our engines or anything else, it'll be fine. Okay, we have control of our doors. We're gonna open all these. We're gonna wait a little bit longer because I don't want to take any Unnecessary damage to the... Oh, of course. Frozen now. Iron Pulse. Weapons down. That's honestly, that is like one of the best case scenarios. Everything else is just going to be hit by Ion Pulses, yeah? It's not going to be anything serious. I say anything serious, like... It's all serious. Okay, but that's like repaired now, yeah? Okay, cool. All you guys go heal up. I'll start powering these guys again. 
We're all back to full HP? Okay. Um, look. We are coming away with an adequate amount of scrap. And we are going to be able to exit the first sector without much hassle. So this is this is a success. So far. Our ship with, the cons with conspicuous pirate markings is orbiting a nearby moon. We're broadcasting a simple message claiming they have equipment to sail. Uh, attack him before he can attack. Yeah, why not? Actually, maybe hail the ship. I don't know. What's the worst that could happen? We have extensive stock. Come aboard and see our wares. Uh, yeah, this seems dangerous. Leave. As soon as you start to reverse off your ship, the pirate reveals hidden weaponry and sets off in pursuit. You have to fight him to escape. Okay, cool. Sa same same outcome, ultimately. I was just hoping he'd be a traitor first, and then if he didn't have anything he'd, I'd, he, I liked, I'd have to fight him. But no. Okay. He has chosen death. I can't recall what kind of weapon that is. That's definitely a, an ion weapon, though, so... Tell you what. Just target everything else first. Uh, what can I divert power from? This. This is still pulverized. Oh, Jesus. Let's get the evasion up, then. Okay, cool. Shields are operation. There we go. Let's get that volley off. Cool. All those hit. Oh, it's a halberd laser, and because it fires out of sync, nothing's gonna happen. This'll be grand. Just gotta take out the... these guns now. Oh, yeah, never mind. This is gonna hurt. Yep. Uh, trying to charge FTL. It's cheeky booger. No, no, I, I disallow it. There you go. Goodbye. They actually don't seem to have a lot of crew if their FTL is delayed. Um, which is good news for me, I suppose. Will you please get your thing up and running again? Because this thing's going to charge way faster than these guns are. That's the truth, but like. Come on, come on. Ah, it's paused. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Here I, here I was get like I was like what what's taking so long? Oh wonderful! wonderful. Let's swap to the ion cannon. Ah <sighs> okay, we're not doing too badly on missiles actually. This these will be useful to sell at some point. I wish there was a hotkey to just send injured personnel to medical. You know that that could be useful. I suppose it's not that difficult, but all the same, it's like you know they've got save positions and actually hmm. If I just made... No, because that would take everyone at the same time. Never mind. I don't have medical power, do I? Nope. Okay, cool. Lovely. So everyone's returning to their stations now. This is Grant. Okay. To the next sector we go. You know what? Uncharted Nebula. I feel like... Civilian sector, civilian sector. Uh, it is tough. Because I think by and large the nebula will be a touch more difficult. But at the same time it's going to slow down the rebels and it'll give me t more time to accumulate material. So I think that's... Okay. Okay. I am going to see if there are anything I want to upgrade now. More system power would be nice, just as a, as a cover, essentially. See enemy interior. <laughs> Not going to be much good here. Extra shields. Couldn't hurt. Dodge 35. Oh, I actually... I find it's quite good to invest fairly heavily in evasion. Um... Up to dodge 25 anyway, because it's an increase of 5 every time, and then it starts, like, petering off. Hmm. Don't really need either of these. These are more, like, quality of life things, if you get me. I think I might just go on and... Yeah. I need more power all the same. So, one, two... You know, I'll take I'll take an extra bit of power. Take an extra bit of power. I know it's a touch wasteful, but if Octane ends up not being on site, it means we'll still be able to use our shields. So that is that is not nothing. <laughs>
And of course, there's a store right there. My god, if I used my eyes. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. I'm, I'm happy to have a ship that is of decent quality. Attack the fire chip. Oh, it's a small one. It's a small one. It's just, it's just a wee one. It's a, it's a baby. We'll have this taken care of in no time. Shields down. Actually, should I focus on weapons here? These look dangerous. I don't know exactly what they are, but they look dangerous. Okay. Yeah, some of those are definitely on the dangerous side. And hopefully, yeah, it means they won't be getting up quite so, quite so quickly. Okay, and the shields are down as well. This is going well. I'm gonna slap another two there, one there, and there's one in the cockpit just in case. Yep. FTL delayed because I said so. Okay. Uh, yep. Yeah, one more round. Why not the entrance as well? Pirates never do that. Ooh, a fire beam! Now that is good. That is. Ooh. Charge time 20. You know what? The fact that it, like, is a perfect multiple of the of the basic lasers is quite valuable. I'll put that on there. Because every two volleys is fires. You know what? That's actually... As I, as I was mentioning earlier, like, the synchronicity of weapons, the fire beam is a solid, solid option. And, hey, do I have an option to take a little more of this? Not yet, not yet. Okay, tell you what. I won't pop it on. Or will I keep it there? As a backup. Oh, this is this is a tough call. Brings us down to three active weapons. Could be worth it. Could very well be worth it. So I think there's a lot of slugs in these nebulas that try the same thing. Okay, rebel ship. We're just gonna we're gonna take out the robots. Uh wait. Is that the only weapon they have? Yeah, we're gonna take out their robots. And I'm gonna hit their shields. No, I'm not gonna hit their shields. No. Ah jeez, what do I do? What do I do? We will Yeah, we will hit the shields. Um I'm charging you up sooner. That's fine. No. Power you down. Start charging the fire beam. Okay. Keep the robots off. Keep the shields off. Because their laser's not going to be doing much, I don't think. That is a that is a simple laser. Okay, cool. Fire beam's almost up. Is this a, a drag weapon? It is. Oh my god, it is. Not a bad one either. Here, I'll pause this. Fire beam. Oh my goodness. So I can get five rooms. Is there an angle at which I could get six? Is it like possible to get six? So hang on. One, two, three, four. Eight rooms in total. Uh, potentially. It just wouldn't be the oxygen. And the oxygen is kind of like what I'm targeting. Okay, look, I'll go for this. That's quite ideal, actually. Let's hit the oxygen there now. And we'll keep the robots off. Actually, no, we don't really care about the robots at this point. Just keep hitting the oxygen. Okay, oxygen is now down. Okay, and the next fire beam is just going to hit these systems here. I would love to starve these guys of any oxygen they have in their ship. Oh jeez. Okay, I need to take that as a shield first anyway. And having this missile go now is good. Okay, because their oxygen is still down. They don't have any external vents as well, which is actually quite lovely. And I think I will... Keep taking down, taking shots at the shields. Ooh, will we accept their surrender? Oh, jeez. 
It's a lot of missiles. A lot of fuel as well. Ooh. I think we can take him with the fire beam, is the thing. I'm actually going to save this, just for the time being, in case I need to take another shot at their shields. Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's keep it like that. Once the fire beam's up and running. Yeah. They're losing a lot of systems now. If they explode, they explode. Um, I have no problem depriving them of a bit more oxygen. Here, we'll take a shot at the shield first. Cool. Then fire beam, if you wouldn't mind doing your thing. So you know what, let's keep it. Let's keep the fire beam away from the shields because I don't necessarily want to destroy the shields. Okay, it's almost just a waiting game at this point. Do these guys starve out? Because I very much feel like they will. It's just a matter of time, right? Yeah, you know what? I'm going to hit their oxygen again. Just to make sure. Some of these guys getting ideas about surviving. How much longer can they live? They're not going to be able to escape. They don't have any air. Seriously, are all these guys like my... It's like spare tanks. How long will this take? There we go. Now that the ship's been emptied of hostiles, you search it. Eventually find a prisoner who offers to join your crew. You know what? I am very happy to get less scrap than I was offered by by the surrender. Less materials overall, but I do get an additional crew member. Which is quite valuable, I think. Is it the resounding success I would have hoped for? Uh, I don't know. Not, not really. Part of me still wants to blow up the ship and see what I can get out of scrap. Doesn't let you do that, unfortunately. So, where will you go, fair dem? What, do you have any skills whatsoever? No. Remarkably useless. Cool. Uh, anything we can put you to use in, though? No, you're basically just a battery at this point, honestly. Uh, having you in cams isn't that useful. I have been experiencing a lot of oxygen-related issues, though, so you know what? You will sit there, my friend. You will do oxygen things. And that will be fine. Okay, that was, that was, that was quite fortunate. The, the equipment we got wasn't delightful. Manta ship. There won't be a next time. Open fire. Yeah, why not? These guys don't really have... Hmm. Is that a disruptor weapon? I think that is. In any event, I'm just going to start lighting fires. Because I'm because I'm a good guy. Uh, yeah. Start taking shots at their oxygen. Yeah, they don't have a teleporter light, so the mantises aren't honestly going to be the same as well. This is a nice candidate for, uh... Oh no! Like, <laughs> internal cameras that don't work anyway, because we're in the nebula. Good job, idiot. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold off the fire beam because I'm gonna drop these guys' shields. Uh, then we're gonna take a shot at the oxygen afterwards. And after the shield drops, we are going to immediately. I don't want to, I want to stress the immediacy of this. Actually, hang on. Is there fire beam? I can get these four critical systems, or I can get their weapons. You know what? I'm happy just... I could probably hit their engines too. But I kind of don't want to, is, is the thing. Like, I, I want... I want to just starve them of oxygen. So that's my focus at the moment. So these next shots will be focused on getting their oxygen taken care of. And actually, you know what? I'm not going to assign these until they're both charged. Okay, there we go. We'll see the oxygen again. This time we're here. Cool. Alright. 
They've actually managed to repair their oxygen, curiously enough. Um, but hopefully a bit of a fire beam will take care of that. There we go. Just get the fire. Cool. There's there's definitely a lot of fire in their uh, their weapons cockpit at the moment. They actually managed to repair their oxygen. Let's give that a knock again then. The last thing I want is these guys breathing too heavily. They're all running around having a bad time, which is kind of like exactly what I want. Let's get the shield hit. There we go. Beam going again. The more fire, the merrier. Wow, they actually had someone working on engines. At this point, fair enough. I suppose they're all trying to breathe. It's uh, relatable, I suppose. Oh my goodness, you... The abundance of oxygen you guys have is actually kind of ridiculous. Now I need to wait another couple of seconds for my base glaciers to come back so I can fire another fire beam in there. Shield down. Oh, it missed. Okay, look, we got a backup. That's fine. That missed too. Okay. You know what? Their oxygen's still down. This isn't, this isn't as big a problem as I'm making it out to be. Take another shot at their oxygen there. Cool. Keep those fires going. And preferably in systems where, like, you know, it's not too critical. Because uh, every time you do system damage, you damage their hull as well. So damaging these rooms here is actually kind of advantageous. Well, just one big delightful way of uh, making sure that the oxygen is slowly being taken out. It's spread to the cockpit. Uh oh. It's a little bit less than ideal. That's fine. Yeah, as you can probably tell, like, death by asphyxiation is a bit of a slower process than just blowing up your ship, but, you know, I don't want to digress too hard. I'm curious as to what these guys are doing. Um, at this point, like, is feels pretty evident that, yeah, there's no way I'm going to, unless, like, I put it right, right here. Yeah. You know what, I'll do it. I'll get a line across there, have some fire in this room as well. How hard are you guys trying? You should have all this... Maybe I'm just like, really underestimating how long these people can survive without oxygen. Because it does feel like they should be well dead by now. Unless they're just like, you know, hiding out in the, in the shield and engine room, praying to their mantis god. No, there we go. Yes, this is what we were looking for. You stripped of useful materials. 32 scrap. This is why we bring a fire beam. This is this has already made it completely worth it. Lovely. That's that is ideal. And actually, it's really good because our who's working here? Sam. Sam Aaron um, is now a remarkably competent uh, weapon systems operator, which I am delighted about. And our auction is still going strong. You know what? Can we take? Can we take another bit of a... You know what? We will. We will. Don't really need it at this point, as far as I'm aware, but it's better to have three lasers than two. In, in pretty much any circumstance, you can imagine. Oh, I need to go up there as well. Right. Okay. Okay, okay. You know what? This bit, this bit of the neighborhood up there is next, so that'll be fine. We'll, we will be able to get to that quest. Uh... You know what? We've got three lasers. This will this will be enough. Um, they've got is that a single fire? Or, yeah, no, it's a sim that's a simple laser. So as long as we take out their weapons, nice and quick, it'll be grand. Uh, oh right. There's no oxygen anyway, so kind of like the fourth weapon won't won't be doing too much all to, altogether. And I will hit their their cockpit as well just to make sure they don't start getting away with it. Lovely. Okay. Well, not. Uh oh. Okay, you know what? You can go and take care of that, guys. I trust that all three. Why is the. You know, it's fine. I trust that the three of you will be more than competent when it comes to taking care of this particular objective. Other oh, weapons are down, so we won't have to worry about that anymore. We can actually send them to repair the med bay that is apparently suffering from a number of issues. Weapons are free. Might as well just take out the. Shoot with the laser because.
no fires are going to start, but you know, it's fun to keep the, the, the fire being warmed up. We are almost back. We are going to keep these down. And that's it gone. Love it. Let's be happy for you. Let's investigate the station. Anti-personnel drone. Okay. That's handy. That's handy. Send these guys back here. Fire team. We're gonna stay in oxygen, just just because. A backslash to save these stations, and we're going to jump. You know they are they are slowed down. Um, not terribly slowed. I'm being totally honest with you. I'll well, probably. Be You detect a Mantis expedition vessel returning home with its hull. So determined are they, in fact, they don't wait to see if you are hostile before firing. Well, okay. I have good news for you guys, and I have bad news for you guys. The good news is... Um... You get to find out what choking in space feels like. And the bad news is... Uh, it's a one-time offer. You only get to experience this one once. Is this a... Oh, this is a chain weapon. Oh, that's bothersome. That's quite bothersome. I might actually fire some lasers over there just to to take that out. Ooh. Okay, how are we doing here? You know what? The one I had intended for the for the weapon system actually hit first, so that's all right. Oh, it's celebrating a bomb on board. Okay, that's fine. We can deal. It missed. Oh, that is how we deal. We deal by relying on the incompetence of our enemies. So we're going to take a shot here. No, just one shot. Then we're going to take another shot there. And we're going to use the fire beam. I start cooking these rooms. Good, good, good. This is what I wanted. Now we've got a bit of a backup laser just in case we can make use of that. I think it's more likely that we're... Uh -oh. Another miss. Engines are handy. Good engines are handy. A lot of people underestimate evasion in this game, I think. For now, though, we are going to focus on starving these guys of oxygen. Um, as long as we can do that, and as long as we keep this this weapon system down in particular, we should be fine. Okay. Fire is spreading there, that's fine. As long as they don't get their oxygen back up and running. You know what, screw it. I am just going to try sp speed things up a bit by spreading fire throughout the entire ship. Though I know that's not exactly conducive to our goals. That's fine. We had a lot of fire to deal with. Right, okay, then we did actually take a bit of a knock there. Um, look, if it happens, it happens. If, if he dies, he dies. It's honestly, it's honestly like my approach to this. Because I, I would like... I would like it um, for these guys simply to just starve out due to oxygen deficiency or simply due to a lack of oh, what would I call it oxygen deficiency or simply burning to death like that would that'd be fine by me I'm not picky um, but I also kind of want to like start picking up the pace if you get me because like that's not doing nothing so I keep firing that bomb You know, it's fine. We've got our pilots actually turned out pretty alright. Yes, okay, we went to the hostile. We got a new person. Notch. Lovely. So, other than inventing Minecraft, what skills do you possess? Oh, not terribly many. That's fine. Um, you know, I haven't even checked your skills. You might actually have some skills. No, why Why would you even? You were just some poor schmuck who was aboard my ship. Okie dokie. Um, plenty of power. You know what, I'm going to look around for for stores before I go and spend the, these next couple of credits. Right, and I'm going to send this guy to camps. I know it's not useful at the moment, but it kind of inevitably will be. So there he shall go. Actually, he'd almost be better off as a pilot. No, because Rocky's, Rocky's getting close now, isn't like, to, to actually level him. So, we'll, we'll, le we'll leave the crew as they are. Uh, it's nice to get humans on 
on these skills where they can like rank up because they do rank up faster. Um, but honestly, Rocky's not doing much else to be perfectly frank with you. So we might as well sail the pilot. Okay, jump. We are now going up here. Yes. Yes. I did say I'm visitor, right? Yeah, cool. Uh, cool. Tension is palatable. Palpable weather. I got my We're actually running a little touch low on fuel. Oh, Jesus. This isn't good. Engines. Attempt to outrun it. Ah, oh, plasma storm. This is going to take out... You know, investing in all that, that extra energy was not a bad decision, I don't think. Because I have enough to run these three uh, weapon systems here, which is kind of ideal. I am going to turn off the med base so we can get a shield going. Um, and I am going to take out their weapon systems as fast as possible. That is the plan. Simple, safe, and sweet. Ah, I hope they get the two shots off. That is unfortunate, but understandable. We'll try and take down their combat as well, so we just increase the accuracy of our weapons. Okay, lovely. And that's all they've got now is an ion cannon, so not much they can do there. I'm actually going to put this into evasion. Just because I don't want to see the... They have sent out a hacking drone. That is less than ideal. And they've hacked our engines. But, again, I don't really care. I'm not planning on escaping. Um, and their weapons are down, so... It couldn't matter to me less. I have weapons charged there. Let's go for it. You know, let's take out the shields. On the next volley, rather. Uh oh, it won't matter. You know, whatever I hit will die. And because... Who is this here, actually? This is, this is Sam. Has become such a proficient... Um, Weapons calibrator. You know, we're doing just fine. Store and a quest. Yes, I will go to a store. I will go to a store. Because hopefully I can sell some missiles. This would be delightful. Ooh. Telepathic slugs were sun shunned the Galactic Federation for their constant thievery and attempts at manipulation. Immune to mind control. That is handy. Burst laser 3. What a weapon. Hull beam. Hmm. Okay. Okay, Joel. Uh, there's no doubt that slugs are useful crew members. But he's not bringing any particular skills to the table. I'm thinking of selling my anti-personnel drone. Because I don't think I'll get drones. Or will I? Oh, will I, will I, will I? I definitely won't be using anti-personnel drones, because I have a Mantis. Yeah. Okay. And I think I might take a burst laser. Shots per charge, five. That is ridiculous. And totally worth it. And I'll spend the rest of my cash fixing this. Okay. You know what? Whilst I'm here, I'm going to equip a burst laser. How long is that charge? 19 seconds. It's a little awkward, but it, it's fine. I will sell off two basic lasers and slap this guy in here. Uh, actually, if I'm going to have 20, are there any upgrades I'd want here? Um. Hmm. Are there? Actually, you know what? I want to you know see. I want to see. Accept that. This requires four power but to fire five shots. It could be worth saving up a bit more power to, uh, yeah, a bit more power. Just get a load of lasers going. Okay. Jumping to our quest location. Here. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. The plan is to get another weapons upgrade. Ambushed by a rebel trip. ship there. We walked right into the trap. How could they? They betrayed me. Those scrubs. Okay, they've only got three people. So I actually might... Yeah, I'm going to put this energy here. Alright. I'm going to put this energy here. 
into getting the fire beam going. Because they do only have one, one layer of shields, and their weapons are basic laser and a hull beam. So if I get those down, we should be set. Ah, took out the hull. Took out the laser. That's fine. That's fine. Look, we'll start we'll start playing with their oxygen systems. Um, and then we'll be sitting pretty. You know what, the sooner we get that hit, actually, the better. And how many rooms can I hit from here? I'm seeing... No, I can probably do better. If I go... Oh, it's three now. Sorry, I, I thought I was still bound to four. Oh, no. What is the best way to cover rooms here? I can get four... Four... You know, the ship is fairly well laid out. Defensively speaking, what do I want to hit? I don't mind them having. Yeah, you know what? I'll I'll make sure I, I get their weapons room. This is good. This is what I wanted. Ooh, and we've got additional personnel I'm trying to put out these fires here. So I think I'll take shots at them just to do a bit more damage. Sounds good to me. Because if we can kill them, we can kill them. Like, that's, at the end of the day, that's what it comes down to. If they die, they die. Two more shots there. Let's get the fire beam back on their position. Lovely. Do you know what? These guys have decided to choose... Uh... Slow asphyxiation in, in lieu of uh, rather rather than death, they're going to be like you know what let's 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 just leave the fire at it, and that's fine because their weapons are down. They could try and escape, but they're probably not going to. Are these fires not going to spread through doors though? Because that would be uh disappointing if they didn't. Go on, you know you want to spread. No, they're actually self extinguishing. Um, in essence, that's all right. Because, you know, it's nice to have good visuals of their ship, though. Because it means I can kind of plan for this a bit better. Because their oxygen's still down. They're, they are still just going to... They are still just going to, like, asphyxiate and die. Um, they're not really taking any measures against that at the moment. I suppose they can't. They kind of know their fate is sealed. They're, just, they're all working so hard. That's what makes me feel bad about this. They're like, no, if I just... If I just make sure the engines are burning efficiently enough, someone else will be able to take care of the oxygen. You find a weapon system with a ship with no crew to stop, you can install it on your own. Yeah. That's 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 rough. Poor them. Flak, what'll that do? Good at taking down shields, hard to aim. Charge time ten seconds, required power two. You know, mostly I'm just using these for I am just using these for taking down shields, so we've got the same charge time. A little bit more of a power requirement. Hmm. You know what? No, no. I I do like having the precision. I do like having the precision. I'm not gonna not gonna deny. Um, there will come a point when I have adequate energy that I will feel comfortable swapping out a basic laser for the flat cannon, but now is not that time. I'm going to save all these guys' positions. And we are going to jump back into the deck. Oh, another Mantis ship. You know what? That's fine. We can take a Mantis ship. I forgot to charge all the weapons. <laughs> this is fine. We'll get the fire beam up going. It'll be grand. You know, maybe having the burst fire... Hmm... This is fine. Uh, they have... Look, the weapons they have are going to be hazardous in nature anyway. I'm just going to take hot shots now. Okay. Wow, both of, their, both of their attacks missed. They must feel pretty shit about themselves at the moment. I can, I can deal with that, however. I can live with their failure. I can find a way. Alright. Shots to the oxygen. 
they both oh, didn't both miss, but like you get what I mean. Uh, is there an, is there a sneaky little angle by which I can get? No, it's it's, it's very much either or. Um, you know what? I'll take this room because it's kind of a screw room. It's a shame it's not hitting the auction the way I wanted to just yet, but that's fine. We can start targeting the auction now in a second. Yeah, two shots to the auction there. Good, good, good. Get the fire beam back in here in a second. Oh no, the shields. Wow, whatever they do. Cool, and the fire has actually finished taking out the auction. So now we wait. Um, we do have a little less control over the system than we kind of did for the other ship. You know, we don't really have as much of a say. But that's fine. We can fire a laser, take down their missile platform, and that'll just with us, no problem. We, we just keep laying on the fire, a little bit of hull damage here and there makes this quite doable. Okay, yeah, we just don't get to see what's going on, on the inside, which is what makes this so, so tense. But I, I'm confident now, like, they've got a lot of fires to contend with, and it could honestly just come down to a case of they can't deal with it in any kind of timely fashion. And they will just end up asphyxiating. There's no nice way to say it. This fire's going. Oh. Yeah. It's it's you know, if you were um what are they called? Like a fire safety inspector? This is like probably one of the worst ships you could possibly design because everything goes through this one big room. Uh there's no external vents or anything. Like, this ship has loads of vents for getting rid of fire. Very, very safe. This little fella, not so much. Why did I do that? I should have taken down the shields first. Actually, that's a good sign. That means there's fire in that room. I just hope it doesn't take down the, uh... hope it doesn't destroy the ship, you know, before we're kind of done, for, done with it. Oh, hold off. Oh, I didn't mean to depower you. Damn it. That's fine. By the time it matters, we'll have a, a lovely little beam going. <laughs> Not a lot those guys can honestly do. Oh, I'm actually curious. Alanius boarding party. Alanius, that was the that was the guys who don't need to breathe. Alanius boat boarding party would be quite good with this kind of fire beam tactic because they don't need to breathe. I actually don't know. Fire probably still does hurt them. Like, there we go. Another successfully captured ship. Thanks to the marvels of asphyxiation. I feel like we can afford to go back a little bit. This this is actually being this you know what the sector is almost going better than the previous one. I'll touch low on fuel, that's all right. Do I want to go here or here? Eeny, meeny, miny. Yeah, tell you what, we'll go here, then we'll see how we're feeling. Ooh, purchase an unknown weapon. Uh, no, attack the ship. That feels, whoa, this, now this is quite a well-designed ship, unfortunately, for us. Um, do you have a single fire laser? So I'm going to prioritize getting these weapons down, and then we'll start taking shots at the, at the auction with our second bit of, with our second volley. Damn, the miss there is quite good. Oh, yeah, they missed you. That is fine by me. Ooh, okay, getting getting the med bay down will actually be quite advantageous, and getting their doors. I suppose we're not boarding at the moment, so it doesn't really matter. But getting having difficulty accessing your own rooms will be quite powerful. Let's go for it. Okay. Yeah, let's take those four there. Yep, we hit every single one. Oh, you poor babies. Yeah, I'm just gonna fire another shot here. Just to keep you guessing. Yep, the fire has already taken out the med bay. It's already taken out the doors. Once this fire beam's charged up again, I'm just gonna run it down the, the center of the ship. Okay, good, good, good. Let us remove the 
shields from play there. Actually, can we get this a little bit further down? Can we just? Oh, we can. We can, we can, we can. Had it there for a second. There we go. Now that'll that'll hurt. That'll hurt quite quite a bit. Not really much they can do at this point. All their systems are just gonna burn. They're busy they're too busy fighting fires to actually deal with the fact they're running at oxygen. And you know they're they're lacking they're just losing control all over. There's nothing they can do. Yep, there goes another set of systems. Here comes uh, the last row of fire beams. Because now we've finally hit their shield as well. This has been quite a quite a clean sweep actually. Poor guys. Oh, they've actually got their oxygen back up and running. Fair play. Working quite hard on that, but I mean, I mean, the, at this point, the fire will pretty much just take them, take them by themselves. There's not much they can do. Uh, they probably just don't have the resources to fight the fires anymore. Yeah, those are the shields down. I don't even need to, don't even need to use this weapon anymore. I can just light them up from here. That's a lot of fire damage. There we go. There are no more life signs remaining of the ship. You strip it of useful materials. Good. That is the scrap we wanted. Let's take that extra, that extra point of weapons there now. So if it comes down to it, we can now engage the burst laser as well. A little bit faster than the fire beam. Um, and if we just really need to pack in the damage, that's what we'll do. As for the laser. I've not really encountered a need for the the burst laser just yet. Everything seems to be taken well care of by the flak gun. Actually, no. Three bits of debris is almost excessive for what I'm doing at the moment. I'm, I'm kind of playing it very carefully, making sure that I'm only taking out systems as I, that I need to. So I'm going to just keep playing it this way. Uh, Rebel fleet was prepared for the nebula in the sector, so it won't be as effect effective a hiding spot. But it's not in Rebel control space, so we're fine. Prepare to chase them. Proceed. Oh fuck. Proceed. Uh, fleet pursuit doubled for one jump. I really have to. If I want to play it safe. And I do. I'm, I'm very happy with the progress in the sector. I don't see need to throw it away. But I have a weapon system that I'm not just using yet. I'm risking on this one system. And let me tell you, it is a risk. Oh, it's got a cloak device. Okay, no fire beam here, because that won't actually matter. Okay, we got to use the burst laser now, though, which will be good. I want to get that evasion up a little bit higher as soon as we can. Okay, the laser fires before the ion, which I find curious. Uh, cloaking. Yeah. So we can't even charge our weapons whilst they're cloaking. It's, it's the worst part. They're probably going to get a hit off here if we can't dodge this. That doesn't mean fire, though, does it? I'm going gonna, gonna to vent that just in case. And we are going to start taking shots at their weapon systems. Yeah. Cool. And now the burst laser will do its job. If they do its job, it'll miss a fair few of those. Oh, no. Okay, I need you to come up here and help with that. Close these doors as well. Basic lasers. Let us take care of that, like, right away. Those missed as well. The invasion on this thing must be crazy. It's gotta be. I'm sorry, are we actually... Oof. That was, un that was unfortunate. How are we for weapon preparedness now? Okay, we've got our shields back up anyway, which is good. Probably shouldn't have lost those there. That was a bit, a bit of a... Bit of an issue in and of itself. Okay. Not not an ideal fight, but it's fine now. Yeah, actually, I know there's a lot of merit to carrying the burst laser. Because when you're not using the fire beam, it's just... It's very much an either-or situation, but they're both very good at their jobs. And they do have different jobs. 
Thrill fleet was prepared. Okay. This is going to be rebel controlled though, so. I don't think it was worth the risk. Yep. I must survive long enough. That's fine. Oh god, they brought a big missile launcher. Okay. The plan here is relatively simple. We just need to wait for the burst laser to come online. Okay. You're gonna get to the doors. And we're just gonna drain you of air. And I know these guys will be tempted to take out the oxygen systems, but that's alright, because they'll probably be more tempted to survive. Burst laser's almost online. We just need to take out that big weapon, and we're fine. A little bit longer. Okay. So, first two basic lasers. We're going to have you fire off like that, and then we're going to send the big guys to make sure these stay down. Ah, uh, okay, that actually, that was unfortunate. That was a lot of misses. Probably gonna target the, co the cockpit with my next volley. That was a big missile. And it missed, oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's good news. Come on, burst laser. We need you back up and running. Okay. Once we take down the weapon systems, we could theoretically switch to, you know what? I'm gonna set these two guys to target the shields. There we go. That weapon systems is that weapon system is staying down now, which is good. I'm assuming this guy is no longer on board. Yes. Okay. Cool. Uh, and I will return you to your station because we very much need you to breathe. You are reoxidating the ship, yes. Oh god, he lived. Uh, okay. They've teleported someone else on board. Absolute mad bastard. This is fine though, because we can also deoxygenate this room. Okay. So they're not going down without a fight anyway. And they've only gotten their basic laser back up now. Ah, oh, Jesus. Alright, these shields are coming down. Okay. Well, one of them is anyway. And uh, you know what? It'll be good to be able to take, keep this shield down if we can. These guys are charging as fast as they do. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Someone else teleport on board, or did they just leave? No, okay, they just left. That's fine. Got a couple guys here who would be better off. I really feel like taking out the engines actually the right call here. Yeah. So they're not getting anywhere anymore. Another shot. Wow, they've got some very robust shield systems. If they're just able to take so many knocks like that. I suppose it's good that we're keeping them offline. Right. Another shot there. There we go. Okay. So the rebel ship is taken down. We grabbed a bit of fuel. Uh, okay, that's fine. Rock controlled. I don't want to go there, and the reason is uh, the fire strategy won't work on rock people. They're like very resistant to fire. I'm going to go back to the main game, because it does give us more time to play. I think I might just pick up a slug though, because I'm really starting to miss the, the utility essentially of... Oh god, please fire the oxygen. Uh, I'm beginning to miss the utility of being able to see where the people are for using the fire laser. Okay, everyone's back up to ship shape. Tip top shape, mother. And yeah, our weapons expert, really, Sam is doing a kick-ass kick -ass job. Oh, who's this? This is Brian from Finance. Lovely. And then we have Rocky up front doing a great job still. Hmm. Great. This is good. This is good. Ooh, this is, a, this is a bit of a rough map, actually. What, what's the layout of these systems like? Not as delightful as I would have liked, but that's fine. We can deal. We're running dangerously low on fuel. Okay. Automated scout. 
but we just need to start taking out the cockpit. That is all we gotta do. So once the cockpit's down, there's really there's nothing it can do. Uh Bang up job. And its weapons are very out of sync as well, so oh wow, it's actually just Yeah, so it actually can't hit us. Uh, we just have to be able to try and hit it. If that makes any sense. You know what, everything and all, yeah, no, I'm going to put all the burst laser shots into the engines because there can be like multiple tiers there. I'm going to try and use the basic lasers to take out the cockpit. Okay, we've delayed the FTL. That's good. This is the desired number. Really, it's doing nothing. Another shot there. There we go. No problem. The drone was halted. That's good. We do get a little bit of fuel out of that, which is, which is good. We need we need a fuel. It's weird that we're doing so well for missiles at this point as well. Um, I'm gonna go here just because I'm hoping to see something of value. Uh, a pirate ship arrives shortly after you. Judging from the fact that it is attempting to avoid your ship, you assume that the smugglers are trying to stay away from beacons. We can take them. Uh, I don't know. Normally these blue things t tend to be quite good. Maybe we'll just steal some shit. I'll give it a try. Uh, 22 scrap. 2 fuel. Hmm. Um. I'll take the bribe for the time being. I feel I feel like I need it. Because I, I, I just need the fuel. That, that's all it is. That's what it comes down to. Uh, plasma storm, automated rebel scout. We have the resources to fight it, but okay. Despite your advanced engines, you are unable to shake them. You turn to prepare for fight. That's fine. I can I can deal with this. My big question is. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna put it all into the burst laser. This will this will be my weapon. Oh jeez, they brought a burst laser of their own. And is it the same cat is it the same type? Oh but it is. No, it's it's Mark Three. Mark two rather. So not quite as heavy duty as the uh the burst level three. But still nothing to like joke about. Okay, I'm gonna drop these weapons. Okay, as fast as possible. And then the auto repair there should take a good long time. I'm gonna cripple the engines as well, so if it does start to try and get away, the answer will be no. Good. Grant. Honestly, without weapons, I can honestly like, use this time to go and uh, make sure Sam is taken care of. That's not Sam. How do I confuse the giant rock mantis for Sam? Oh, I didn't even realize that until there's shields. Okay, let's try to see some much meteor ships now. Okay, 22 scrap for destruction. That's fine. Hmm. I'm gonna require some... some energy for the engines. Uh, store. Lovely. Ooh, two stores. Ooh, two stores. No, I'll, I'll just bank on this one. I really hope this one has a slug. Because I really need a bit of a... Damn it. Long-range scanners. This is quite good. I... Battery chargers. Backup batteries time is hot. Yeah, I don't have a backup battery. Mind control. Temporarily turn to allies. Drone control. I feel like drone control was instrumental in my one victory in FTL. So I might actually take another one. Yeah, that seems right. Mm. I do have drone parts. I should take the control. I should. And... Uh, if I need, I need to be taking out more shields. So I'm going to actually probably swap in the 
the flak at some point. I will hold on to the basic laser for now, though. And I will fix up what I can for the time being. That's fine. Okay. Lovely. So, we do have another draw on power now. This is fine. Shoots down missiles, asteroids, and flak debris. Yeah. Okay. Uh, we need two for you, especially. Okay, so if we're to take one out of you, okay, okay, okay. I'm kind of, I'm kind of getting a better feel for how I'm gonna need to use the power, and I probably should invest in some more power soon. Like having having two of the sultans on board is quite good. Oh, low, low on fuel, not not pleasant. Having two sultans on board is good because that's basically two free players energy. Uh. Threaten them. I just feel the need for the bribe because it, it just guarantees fuel. The last thing I need is more missiles. Like, uh, yeah, we'll just attack the animator chip. Looks like it's packing a whole beam and lasers of its own here. So let's just go for that. Oh, jeez, mind controlled. Oh well, at least he's not a danger. Like <laughs> he could be, he could be responsible for doing something important. This isn't the case, however. It'll be fine. All right, they're just down to their holding. Cool. So I'll actually set my my burst weapon to take out the mic control. Cause your man's being a bit of a hassle, actually. All right, that was. Surprisingly pleasant. Okay, that's actually that's a that's a good no amount of resources. I will gladly take that. How are we for system power? Could do with a bit more. Could also do with some power here, some power here. Ah, hmm. I do feel like I should. Save up a bit more. Uh, see, I, I would have a much better sense of how I'm planning on taking out this, like the boss at the end of all this. Um, oh Jesus! If I had a, a bit of better luck with the weapons, I think because they're, they're good weapons. Like the burst laser Mark III is nothing to laugh at, but they are not necessarily what I'm looking for. Actually, this 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 is quite a dangerous setup. Uh, this black and debris, right? You're useless to me now. Okay, I need to get. Well, there's not much I can do. I kind of need to save these for. Okay, so one of these is just gonna shoot at me. Oh Jesus! Oh boy. Okay, just wait a little bit longer. I feel like the weapons are more of a threat than the drones, just at the moment. I do say that as my fucking shields catch fire. Oh my goodness, right. Everything on that. So many misses. Oh my god. Octane gets this. What the actual fuck is going on? These drones need to go down. Oh, why do I have it on auto fire? Who's dying now? Fired him, yeah, fair enough. Cool. Shields are down. Accepted. Heal up. We're gonna try and mobilize just a bit more. We're gonna knock out these drones. That is the plan. We're gonna turn off auto fire. God damn. I'll wait for all these to be fired, and then we're going to simultaneously deploy every weapon on the drones. Is threat right now. And of course, okay. Oh my God, why would I? Evasion is not exactly our forte at the moment, now is it, lads? Oh, I'm not going to get taken up by a drone, am I? That is so embarrassing. Oh, Jesus. Uh, 
Uh... Nope, we, that's it. That's the run. One scout dropped me out. Yeah, I should have had more shields at this point. That's honestly... Uh, okay. That's that's what I should have changed. I shouldn't have just had one layer of shields when the enemies were starting to rock too. I was trying to figure out, you know, ah, oh, geez, isn't there something I typically invest in at this point in the game? Um, but you know what? That's fine. Let's have a look here. Um, where did this guy rank at all? Uh, yep. All these higher scores are on easy. <laughs> that's fine. Yeah. So, okay. Apparently, nicknaming. Female captains after, like, Samus Aran is, is something I do quite frequently. Um, Alright. You know what? That's fine. We'll, I'm going to come back to FTL. I'm thinking of doing some more videos of this just because it's like... I don't know. I think it's enjoyable to play through. Uh, and it makes for a, a good bit of a video. Um, if you if you do like it, please use the uh, the included feature on YouTube's page to, to show me that. And if you have any advice for me, because I could honestly use a lot of advice, please pop it down in the comments below. Uh, I... Have nothing better to do than read all of them. Okay, great. Thank you very much, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.